All throughout life, we are in search of the right one, the right career, the right house, the right coffee house, the right annual planner, the right community. If you've been searching for the right book on facilitation, this is the one, The Facilitator's Guide to Participatory Decision-Making. This is Jeffrey Kafad with Facilitate Better and my five minute review on why this book is the number one that I recommend as well as a gift to others. It is 400 pages chock full of principles, practices, tools, and techniques to support what the authors refer to as a participatory culture. What do they mean by that? They're talking about four core values that they associate with this type of a culture. First, full participation. Everyone is encouraged to speak up and say what's on their mind. Isn't that what we're always trying to facilitate? Second, mutual understanding. For a group to reach a sustainable agreement, members have to understand and accept the legitimacy of one another's needs and goals. As we facilitate increasingly diverse groups, people bringing a wider variety of perspectives, creating the environment to facilitate that mutual understanding is key. Inclusive solutions. Inclusive solutions are wise solutions. Their wisdom emerges from the integration of everybody's perspectives and needs. So incredibly true so challenging to facilitate. And finally, shared responsibility. Members of the group recognize that they must be willing to and able to implement the proposals they endorse. So they make every effort to give and receive input before final decisions are made. This is a book that focuses on building the ownership in terms of both participation in discussions and decision-making to facilitate what they refer to as sustainable agreements. The book is divided into five parts, Grounding Principles, Facilitator Fundamentals, Sustainable Agreements, Facilitating Sustainable Agreements, and Reaching Closure. In my Substack post on the book, you'll find the entire table of contents provided. Let me highlight two sections of the book that I think a lot of people will find particularly useful. The first are classic facilitator challenges. These are the types of challenges that I've been addressing in my How to Handle posts. 30 universal problems that we face as facilitators, the typical mistakes that we make when handling those problems, and effective responses for each situation. One page for each of those scenarios, incredibly concise, incredibly practical, incredibly useful. And secondly, this book really dives deep into facilitating sustainable agreements. What is it that makes an agreement sustainable? The answer is that the agreement is based on a solution that incorporates everyone's point of view. Participants would say, yeah, this works. From my perspective, this proposal actually does solve the problem. Creating that type of sustainable agreement, the authors suggest that we go through three different zones of conversation, the divergent zone, the grown zone, and the convergent zone. And they provide incredible guidance for each of those three zones. In the divergent zone, we're expanding the range of possibilities. This is that open-ended thinking. We're ending with a convergent zone when we're taking all of our good conversation and starting to narrow in on a solution or a decision that the group can support. But in between that can be this incredibly large grown zone that is challenging both for participants and for the facilitator. And I think they offer us some particularly useful advice there. So every book has a point of view, and this book has a critical one in terms of a facilitator working continuously to achieve three objectives. First, building and sustaining a respectful, supportive atmosphere, staying out of the content and managing the process, and teaching the group new thinking skills as the process unfolds in order to build their capacity for collaboration. They also identify that the facilitator, in terms of helping build the capacity of the group, can do so by instilling the group with a mindset, model, skills, and tools to treat each other respectfully and supportively, step away from the content of the conversation so that they can discuss and manage their own process, and engage in continuous learning to build their capacity for collaboration. If you're looking to facilitate your own continuous learning and to help groups learn how to build their capacity for collaboration, I can't think of a better resource than the Facilitator's Guide to Participatory Decision-Making. 400 pages, typically $30 online at a variety of sites. If I can provide more information or be a resource for you and your organization as you develop your facilitation skills, I hope you'll contact me.